Good evening, you may be seated. Welcome to our seniors, their families, staff, and special guests that we have with us tonight. It's an honor to have you with us to share this evening. Uh, we are so happy to have you here and to celebrate your loved ones and you with us in the last four years of accomplishments. Um, there's one part I want to point out just after we get started here. When we get to uh, Dollars for Scholars, there will be quite a few names read. And if we could hold applause until all of those have been read, and then we'll applaud everyone at one time there. Um, please enjoy the evening. We'll go ahead and get started. Samantha Lambert, I'm pleased to be here on behalf of the Community Foundation of Elkhart County to present several scholarship awards. All of the scholarships we will be presenting tonight require students to live in Elkhart County. The first several, in fact all but one, are only high school seniors uh, are eligible to apply. The first award is the Inspire Scholarship. The Inspire Scholarship was created to provide tuition assistance to students who possess leadership skills are service-minded and have career goals. The Community Foundation values giving back to our communities through resources and time. Therefore, the INSPIRE recipients will be volunteering in Elkhart County for a minimum of 30 hours each year as part of their scholarship renewal. To be eligible for the scholarship, a student must have a GPA between 2.0 and 3.75 and be planning to enroll in a full-time two or four-year degree program. I'm pleased to recognize two students this evening who will be receiving the INSPIRE Scholarship for 2022. Recipients receive $3,000 each year for either two or four years. Please join me in congratulating two of the recipients, Jesus Briano for a total of $6,000. Fernanda Mer Mendoza. year award for a total of the Guy David Gunlack Memorial Scholarship. David was a 1973 graduate of Elkhart Memorial High School and went on to pursue a business degree in college. David became a successful entrepreneur and sold his business to pursue his other passions in life. His true passion was supporting organizations that help children of all ages. He wanted others to have the kind of wonderful childhood that he treasured growing up in Elkhart. His philanthropic work led him all over the world, but he always considered Elkhart his home. After David's death in 2011, this scholarship was created to honor his legacy. To be eligible for the award, a student must be a first-generation college student who is pursuing a bachelor's degree at a college in the state of Indiana. The award is given every year in the amount of $5,000 per year for four years for a total award of $20,000. Please join me in congratulating Gustavo Gonzalez.
The next award is the Dale Family Nursing Scholarship. Dorothy Dale Zook established the Dale Family Nursing Scholarship in, lovely, in loving memory of her parents, William A. and Pearl S. Dale. The scholarship supports a Goshen High School senior who plans to pursue a nursing degree at an accredited college, university, or vocational school. The new award is given every year in the amount of $1,000 per year for four years for a total award of $4,000. Please join me in congratulating Isabel Abshire. Lockerbie Goshen Kiwanis Scholarship, which was created by Rita Lockerbie in loving memory of her husband. Ralph moved to Goshen with his parents at an early age and developed a strong love for the community. Ralph was involved with the Goshen, News, New, the Goshen Noon Kiwanis Club for 26 years, serving as its president and the voice of the county fair parade, which the club organizes. Ralph also volunteered for more than 25 years at the Goshen Relays and Sectionals, serving as head timer. Ralph and Rita's strong belief was that all children should be given the chance to pursue higher education. It is with this goal in mind that Rita created this scholarship in his honor. To be eligible for the award, a student must be a member of the Key Club at Goshen or Fairfield High School. Students with community volunteerism are given special consideration. One new award is given per year in the amount of $1,250 per year for four years for a total award of $5,000. Please join me in congratulating Mona Galeb. tonight is the Claude S. and Hannah M. Kegeris Scholarship. This scholarship was created to provide annual scholarships to graduates from Elkhart County High Schools for them to attend an accredited college or university in the United States. Three new awards are given each year in the amount of $1,000 per year for each of four years for a total of $4,000. Please join me in congratulating Trinity Nemeth. Community College Scholarship. This scholarship was created to encourage the pursuit of education by all residents of Elkhart County. This purpose was motivated by belief that the future well-being of our country depends on, upon the attainment of higher education by as many people as possible. This scholarship is open to traditional, non-traditional, full-time, and part-time students. This means that this student was competing not only against his peers, but also against adult student learners in our community. Multiple awards are given every year, and while this is a one-year award, students are encouraged to apply up to two years. I'm pleased to recognize Jacob Rodriguez. <laughs> Jacob will be receiving a one-year $2,000 scholarship for Ivy Tech. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, my name is Lindsay Craning and I am one of the counselors here at the high school. So along with the other counselors and our guest presenters, I'll be presenting on behalf of Dollars for Scholars this evening. 
We're fortunate to live in a community that values our kids and Dollars for Scholars is just one example of that. Our chapter, Goshen High School Dollars for Scholars, is a program of Scholarship America. It's organized around Goshen High School and provides scholarships to graduating seniors to attend any accredited post-secondary educational institution. This includes trade and technical institutes, community and junior colleges, four-year colleges and universities. The GHS chapter of Dollars for Scholars has provided almost $2 million to approximately 2,000 students since its inception in 1992. A student who receives a Dollars for Scholars scholarship may be eligible for matching financial aid from their participating college or vocational or technical school. As a reminder, a couple reminders, to any student that receives a Dollars for Scholars scholarship tonight, you probably already received an email, but please check that. You have to go in and actually accept your award through that email um, in order for it to go where you need it to. So just a reminder there. Um, you must accept your scholarship. And now that you're out, let's get started. Okay, so the first batch here are 2000, or, yeah, 2022 Goshen High School Dollars for Scholars Permanent Memorial Scholarships, which are endowed with permanent funds by family or friends. These are, per these are perpetual scholarships, meaning they happen every year. First one is Brooke Dorio, which is $1,000 to Carla Guerrero Torres. And I'm just going to keep going as you walk up here because there's a bunch of them. And the class of 1933 is $1,000 to Jeffrey Hirschberger. <laughs> Dale Family Business Scholarship, $1,000 to Alina Foltz. <laughs> Dean Schwalm, $1,000 to Victoria Eldridge. The Elizabeth Fusion Scholarship, $1,000 to Sunny Gujar. <laughs> Evelyn Betty Brooks Scholarship, $1,000 to Carly Yoder. <laughs> Farber Medical. Just, uh, the scholarship goes to $1,500 to Giselle Altamirano. Oh, sorry. sorry, hang on. $1,500 to Mona Galeb and $2,000 to Brooklyn Collins. <laughs> Next, we have the GHS Dollars for Scholars Scholarship America Scholarship. This is $1,000 for four years, and it goes to Jeffrey Hirschberger. The Goshen JC Scholarship is $1,000 for four years, and that goes to Adrian Mora. <laughs> Mary Mark Scholarship is $1,000 to Ungizue Nkube. Robert D. Deal Scholarship is the $3,000 scholarship. And there are two recipients for this, Seleno Thervalis and Roman Schrock. Let's go! This might die. <laughs> and last, I have the West Goshen Elementary School Scholarship, which is $1,000 to Charlie Gonzalez. Tonight. The first one is the Beth Chevalier Gibson Memorial Scholarship. Beth Chevalier Gibson was a four-year swimmer at Goshen High School, and she died at the young age of 24 in 1985, and her family has founded a memorial scholarship in her honor for a female swimmer at Goshen High School. This year's recipient goes to Amelia Walters.
for tonight is the Brian F. Rathke Memorial Scholarship. Brian Rathke served as the Goshen High School head boys swim and dive coach for 19 years and the girls swim and dive coach for four years. Um, his family has founded a memorial scholarship in his honor for a male swimmer at Goshen High School. This year's recipient goes to Nick Sayer. Congratulations, graduates of Goshen High School class of 2022. And greetings to members of your families and your friends and thank you to the faculty who uh, allow me to make it a short, well, an address before I give out the scholarship for the Betty Lee uh, Boo Dembowski Blando scholarships for volunteering. Uh, a short vignette first with a bit of advice. In the most recent issue of the uh, Goshen Historical Society's History Makers Quarterly Publication, there was a short story about a Meyer Dembowski shaking hands with President Lincoln, headlined, Goshen's oldest citizen, an Abe Lincoln. I asked the society to ascertain whether Meyer might have been an ancestor of my wife, Betty. Uh, the society's research revealed that Meyer came to the United States from Lithuania with three siblings, Julius, Casper, and Mary. And the bottom line was that Meyer was Betty's great-great uncle. Betty's ancestors have been Goshenites since 1850, at least 1850. The Dombowski immigrants and their offspring established careers in different fields. One was in the seed and feed business, and that building still stands with the family name on Washington Street. The reason I mention this is to tell you the importance of what happened to the people who preceded us. Thank goodness for the historians who recorded it all, the people and the events of the past. Why? Shakespeare wrote the past is prologue. History might not dictate what occurs presently, but it influences it greatly and certainly helps to connect the dots. The past probably doesn't seem important to you graduates now, or at least to some of you, but your futures will be greatly influenced by the decisions you make now and already might have made already, because that will be the history of your life and you will carry it forward into whatever you do for the rest of your life. And they will play a critical part in your life thereafter. Please allow me to illustrate Betty's parents, uh, who were volunteers. Her mother, in her off hours, helped guide uh, students that she served in other ways. Her dad, known as Deb, Deb, D-E-B, was easier to pronounce than Dembowski, devoted many volunteer hours right here at Goshen High School, among other organizations. Their influence rubbed off on my wife, Betty. She also became a dedicated volunteer, hence the scholarships I'll be awarding in a bit. Now, Deb had an occupation that provided the finances for his hobby of volunteering. He was an insurance agent. Perhaps some of your grandparents or great-grandparents had dealings with Deb or possibly his wife, uh, Betty's mom, Libby. In which case you can say, I shook the hand that shook the hand that shook the hand that shook the hand that shook the hand of Abraham Lincoln. Okay, it's not so funny as when I wrote it. <laughs> now, please indulge me and make one other comment. Uh, some of you seniors might feel like Betty did when she graduated from Goshen High back in 1955. She wanted out of Dodge, anxious to get on with her life and career, and for her, college was the answer. But her town, your town, had a mysterious pull. Can you guess where we went on our first trip after our honeymoon? Well, it was to her 10th Go uh, Goshen High School class reunion. Scheduled every five years, she attended them all and a bunch of mini reunions in between. I was quite amazed when I discovered in going through some of her papers recently that 122 members of the class of 135 or so showed up for their 25th class reunion, 122 out of 135. They came from all parts of the country, including the state of Washington. Some members of the class didn't have to go far, having remained close to home. They all embarked on different careers. One became a reporter in Milwaukee and worked her way up to become vice president of something or other at her newspaper. Another ran a B&B with her husband. Another worked as an editor at a book publisher in New York City. 
which also became the home of a kid who was bitten by the theatrical bug as a, as a youngster and appeared in several Broadway shows and made it to the big time, the Great White Way. And that was George, oh, he also uh, was in the, uh, well, in addition to the Will Rogers Follies, the long-running The Fantastics, which you may have heard of, was one of the longer-running off-Broadway shows in, on, in and on Broadway. That was George Riddle, credited with being the first to ride around town on a unicycle. There was a military man also and a missionary. Among those who stayed in Goshen, two are enshrined on your hall of fame, wall of fame, and they are Swihearts. Also, there was an eye doctor, he was president of the class, uh, who established an optometrist shop that's still there on Washington Street. His uh, offspring are running it. A barber, uh, a couple of engineers, a classmate who went to, into banking and ended up as a bank president. Housewives and mothers. So many different directions, so many political and social viewpoints, and sometimes they clashed and they'd argue vehemently, if not in person, over the phone and on over emails. But they stayed together as friends because of one common thread, the Goshen school system. A few of you might not think much of it now, that's very few I would guess, but I predict that before too many years have passed, you will appreciate what you have learned from one another and your teachers and the Goshen High School that you're graduating from now. Those lessons will stay with you for the rest of your lives. Thanks for your patience and listening to my sermon. And now I'd like to award the Betty Lee Gombowski Blando Scholarship for Volunteerism. The first one goes to Ashley Garcia Cotto. for volunteerism goes to Sophia Yording. <laughs> Sophia Yording. Oh, okay. My name is Carol Rudy. I'm representing the Mays family. Bill and Jane Mays were my parents. And although they did not graduate from Goshen High School, they raised three children who did. They believed that education was the key to every door, and in the hope that we will help open that door for a couple people tonight, this year's recipients are Magali Casabel Gonzalez and Gustavo Gonzalez. My name is Ruth Sorrell. My husband, Coach Mike Sorrell, was the head basketball coach at Goshen High School from 1985 to 1999. He went home to be with his Lord on February 16, 2007. The Coach Sorrell Memorial Award was established by those who were influenced by and contributed to the most successful era in Goshen High School basketball history. Some might confuse success with winning. It is true that Coach Sorrell won more games than anyone else here at Goshen High School, 
But his most meaningful legacy is cultivating the willingness and ability to compete in those that he coached. The recipient of the Coach Sorrell Scholarship is not concerned about being better than others, but unusually focused on, on producing at peak levels of performance every day. Basketball mattered to Coach, but more importantly, it was God, his family, education, the intensity, the passion, the loyalty, the sacrifice, the pride, the pressure, and the poise. These are the qualities that were important to Coach Sorrell because they preserve long after the bleachers are empty and live on even when it seems to most that an era is over. It is my honor to, to announce this year's recipient of the Coach Sorrell Memorial Scholarship, $2,000 for Trinity Nemeth. I'm here to present a Rotarian Award. Rotarians, Rotarians love kids. We built the Shanklin Pool. We built a splash pad at Pringle Park. We rescued uh, orphans or uh, girls that are being sexually trafficked uh, through Destiny Rescue last year. We raised 129,000 to do that project. It was very exciting. Uh, here today, I am uh, reading the names of five students who are going to receive $1,000 scholarships. The Rotary Scholarship Fund was initially seeded with money from Lou and John Fiddler, approximately 1990. It's both merit-based, requiring a two and a half GPA or greater, and almost more importantly, we actively look at the applicant's career and leadership qualities. Money has been added over the years by other Rotarians, and we would invite U5 winners to come join us on a Friday for lunch at Maplecrest to meet the Rotarians that have funded this award. I'm going to read all five names. Please come up here and I'll hand you your award. And these are available for Dollar for Scholars matching. Carla Guerrero, I'm going to mess this up. Guerrero Torres, did I do okay? Okay. <laughs> in between, okay? <laughs> Asia Atkins, Jacob Moyer, Carla Yoder, Joanna Elrod. Okay, now, now <laughs> I forgot two reminders, guys. Okay, so if you receive, it's at the bottom of the program, but if you receive a memorial scholarship, they should be in bold. Um, you might please stay after, because a lot of times um, the family will want to get a picture, so we will do that. Um, and if you're any dollars for scholar scholarship, please stay after as well. So just wanted to remind you about that. We'll try to remind you again at the end, but just so you know that. And then since these are, again, I have several to read. Once they read your name, if you want to come up from this side of the stage, grab your word and come back down. That'll help a little bit with the flow. I forgot to mention that last time. Okay. So these are the 2022 Goshen High School Dollars for Scholars Annual Memorial Scholarships. The first one is the AAUW Scholarship, which is $1,000 to Lauren Altenhoff. Chamberlain Elementary School, donated by Maple City Healthcare, is $3,000, and that goes, there are a few of them, so it goes $3,000 to Madeline Garber, 
and $1,000 to Maria Conchita Gaitan, and $1,000 to Eli Hostetler. Next is Dr. Neil Harris. This is donated by Mr. and Mrs. George Buckingham. This is $1,000 to Madison Miller. The Goshen Stamping Scholarship is donated by Goshen Stamping Company, and that is $1,000 to Jacob Moyer. The Lewis and Elizabeth Fiddler Scholarship, donated by the Fiddler family, is $2,000 to Eli Hosteller. <laughs> Lippert Components is donated by LCI, and this is $2,000 to Jalen Nolan. Richard Kircher is donated by the Kircher family, and this is a $1,000 scholarship to Elizabeth Lopez Cazada. <laughs> Russell Rowe is donated by the Goshen Animal Clinic, and this is a $1,000 scholarship to Eli Hostetler. <laughs> The Tim and Ingrid Skinner Scholarship, donated by Justin and Nicole Boyd Lehman. This is $1,000 to Logan Harkenreiter. <laughs> then I have Yoder Colt. This is donated by Yoder Colt Funeral Home, and this is a $1,000 scholarship to Jackson Guyton. took the earthly lives of my daughter Kim, my son-in-law David, and my daughter-in-law Jennifer. They had been married for only three months. It would not have been very long until they both would have been graduates of Valparaiso University. When faced with such a tragedy, we are forced to draw on time and faith to move forward. Time allows us to remember David and Kimberly as the tremendous people that they were, they had already become. Faith allows us to imagine the existence that they have enjoyed since we last saw them and know that we will see them again. As a family, the Sorrels and the Lees seek to assist a young person in pursuing their educational future with the same vigor that fueled David's and Kimberly's pursuit of excellence. The most important fact about Kimberly and David is that they were always focused on doing whatever they did to the best of their ability. Whether it was academics, athletics, or being a husband, wife, son, daughter, sister, or friend, they were giving it their best effort. We do our best to identify an individual that will be true to these qualities when choosing the recipient of this $1,000 scholarship. It is my privilege to present the 2022 David C. and Kimberly Sorrell Lee Memorial Scholarship to Adrian Mora.
Carol Rudy. This time I'm representing the class of 1968. Um, this is one of the last times that you all will be together, so look to your left and your right and memorize those faces. You'll be classmates all your lives. Mine are sitting up there in the uh, second balcony. Uh, we all appreciated the education that we got at Goshen High School, and when we were in a position to help some of the graduates coming along behind us, we established this scholarship. This year it goes to Ashley Garcia. On behalf of the Goshen Gridiron Club, I have the honor of presenting two uh, scholarships this evening. Uh, the Gridiron Club consists of former Goshen High School football players, coaches, and supporters. Its purpose is to provide financial assistance and support to all levels of Goshen football. For the first time, the Gridiron Club is awarding two scholarships to seniors who participated in football for four years, excelled uh, academically, and is in good standing with Goshen Community Schools. The recipients of these scholarships are two deserving young men. I actually had the pleasure of coaching both of these individuals in JFL, which is our elementary junior football league. Even at that age, there were players that left coaches saying, I wish I had another 10 players like them. Both of these individuals are hardworking, humble leaders who make others around them better. I have no doubt their next phase of life will be impactful. This year's Gridiron Club Scholarship winners are Roman Schrock and Cam Kircher. Congratulations, all of you. I, too, graduated from Goshen High School in <clears throat> that year. Um, take 77 and take away 18 to get it. Anyway, um, the Goshen High School alumni is something that we've done for years. It's a banquet, and it took a lot of work, but we wanted to do it because we love this school and we love you. And it is $1,500, and it goes to Carly Yoder. Hi, my name is Don Ogle, and I am president of the Goshen Noon Kiwanis. Um, we offer many scholarships, and I'm here this evening to present six of them to our Goshen High School recipients. Our first scholarship for $1,000 is the Emerson Rock Scholarship, who was a, a member, all of these folks have been members, uh, prominent members of Goshen Noon Kiwanis. Uh, the Emerson Rock Scholarship is given uh, to uh, uh, a student that is major, major in the arts, humanities, and must have participated in music, theater, arts activities during high school. And it goes to Asia Adkins.
also like to invite each of these six winners to our Goshen Noon Kiwanis meeting uh, this Tuesday for lunch. It's a lunch meeting at Maple Crest. And so we can recognize you and introduce you to our club. The next scholarship is the Ralph Lockerbie Scholarship. It's another Ralph Lockerbie Scholarship given by our club. Uh, this is uh, a student that has been a member of our key club, which goes uh, Kiwanis, the Maple City Morning Club, and our noon club sponsor, the key club. And this award goes to Ashley Garcia Coto. that we uh, are uh, awarding is the uh, Richard Welsh Scholarship. This goes to a student that plans on, business, on, on uh, majoring in a business career, and this goes to Maria Conchita Gayton. Our Goshen Noon found, Kiwanis Foundation Scholarship goes to a student that has overcome uh, some exceptional circumstances to be successful. This scholarship for $1,000 goes to jo Joanna Elrod. general scholarships for $1,000. Uh, we give two of those, and um, our, two, our two recipients this year, someone's upset they didn't get a scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our two recipients this year are Kathleen Batson and Harrison Savchuk. Education Association gives a scholarship out each year for a recipient who plans on going into what I believe is the most honorable profession around, which is teaching, although I may be a tad bit biased on that. Um, but this year's recipient is um, an individual who's already making waves and already changing the world, and we can't wait to see what she does with the future of our youth as well. Um, she plans to attend Goshen College to study elementary education. And this year's $500 scholarship goes to Sophia Yordi. Everybody. My name is Deb Darman. I represent Interra Credit Union. Um, Interra is involved in giving back to our local communities. We stay invested in the lives of young scholars like all of you, supporting you financially with your future endeavors. 
It's an honor to provide an outstanding Goshen High School Scholar again this year with the Interra Credit Union Scholarship of $1,000. I am pleased to announce that Maria Conchita Gayton as the, is the recipient of this year's Interra Scholarship. My privilege, excuse me, it's my privilege to give away some awards tonight on behalf of the Maple City Kiwanis Club. Uh, we are, we're the Kiwanis Club that meets in the morning. We're a considerably smaller club, but a pretty active club at the same time. First four names that I call will be receiving $750, and the last name that I call will be receiving uh, $1,000. So I'd like to call these students to the stage. Isabel Abshire, Brooklyn Collins, Chloe Collins, Madeline Garber, and Kathleen Batson. to present the 8th Martin Family Scholarship this evening in the amount of $1,000. We offer the scholarship, excuse me, to support students and promote education. The requirements are academic excellence and participation in activities that our children were involved in at GHS or plans to study in their same fields. Our sons, Andrew and Peter, along with, his, with Peter's wife, Jessica Sherrick, attended uh, Goshen High School and participated in athletics, music, and other club activities. Both of my sons and their spouses have been committed to education and reaching their career goals. We hope that our scholarship will enable another student to reach their goals. On behalf of our family, I'm pleased to present our scholarship to the 2022 recipient, Anna Vanderway. to Seleno Thurbalis. the honor of awarding $24 for scholars general scholarships. The scholarships are all for varying amounts, so I will read the amount and then the recipient names. If we could hold our applause until all 24 have been called, that would be great. So in the amount of $1,500, Steve Bermudez, Marco Camilo, Estefany Chiquito Gonzalez, Joshua Garcia, Henrik Hathaway, Alan Hernandez, Angel Hernandez Barcenas, Arturo Hernandez Barrera, Cadence Mast. 
Brandon Rivera, Ignacio Segovia, Denise Sustaita, Abigail Wildman, and Hannah Woods. We have two students receiving scholarships in the amount of $1,000, Alessandra Lozano and Vanessa Villegas. We have one student receiving a scholarship in the amount of $750. That student is Chloe Collins. And then we will end with scholarships in the amount of $500. Students are Alina Foltz, Charlie Gonzalez, Jackson Gaip, Sunny Gujar, Logan Harkenreiter, Elizabeth Lopez Quesada, and Angizue Nakube. This year, Goshen High School held two American Red Cross blood drives. We collected over 140 units of blood, which was very helpful during this um, blood shortage. We are thankful for all students and staff members who donate and volunteer to make our blood drive a success. Due to the number of units we collected, the Red Cross has awarded $750 in scholarships to be given to students who have been committed to donating and volunteering towards the cause. This year, we would like to award Jordan Williams, Giselle Altamirano Ramos, and Cadence Mask with $250 each. scholarship on behalf of his family. Austin graduated from Goshen High School in 2014. He was the president of his freshman through senior class. He also ran track and played football all four years and was voted the scholar athlete in one or both of those sports each year. Austin graduated at the top of his class receiving $26,000 in renewable academic scholarships, which allowed him to go on and play football at Wabash College. This is why it is so important to their family that they continue their, his legacy by awarding a scholarship every year to one of the students here at Goshen High School. Since his death by suicide, Austin's family has made it a priority to speak out on the topic of mental health in our schools. Austin's mother, Leslie, is proud to say that Goshen High School is the first school in Elkhart County to fully implement the Sources of Strength program, which teaches young people how to build resiliency through eight protective factors in their lives. So this evening, we would like to present the Austin Quirec Memorial Scholarship Fund to a young student who has displayed that same resiliency in her own life. She has overcome many challenges to achieve her goals and is focused on using her story to help others by majoring in psychology with plans to go to, on to graduate school. 
She has accomplished all this by graduating a year early from Goshen High School. We would like to present the Austin Weirich Memorial Scholarship of $2,000 to Yasmin Martinez. My name is David Post. I'm one of the counselors here at the high school, and I'm uh, awarding the Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizens Award. Uh, the Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizens Award was started in 1934 and is intended to encourage and reward citizens of, or qualities of good citizenship. This award recognizes and rewards individuals who possess good citizenship qualities of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism in their homes, schools, and communities. These students are selected by the teachers and peers because they demonstrate these qualities to an outstanding degree. And this year's recipient is Adrian Mora. program says I'm Troy Lusink, but I'm not. I'm Edie Gray representing Green Road Church, and we are honored tonight to bless Anna Vanderway with the Vanderway Family Scholarship um, that was set up originally when her great-grandfather passed, and many people in the community who knew Cy um, donated funds to our church which were then appropriated to a scholarship fund. When her grandfather passed, the same happened. This year, it happens that a family member wins this scholarship. She wrote a wonderful essay, and in it I hope she will remember that she has dedicated her life to Jesus Christ and that she hopes to further her studies at Indiana University and do her best for the Lord there, and to continue into a field of nursing, which then she'll be able to serve the community and the Lord serving her patients. Anna, it's my privilege to award you this scholarship. Harvey Hansen, and I represent the Goshen Hospital Auxiliary. <clears throat> in keeping with Goshen Hospital Auxiliary's <laughs> continuing interest in promoting the healthcare profession, we award scholarships for those students pursuing a career in healthcare field. This year, we have three recipient, recipients, each receiving $1,000. I would like to have Magla Gonzalez come, please. Isabel Abshire. Hi, 
my name is Paige Pabosic. I am the Drama Club sponsor and fall play director here at Goshen High School. Every year we award the Cartwright Scholarship Award for the best thespian, most outstanding thespian, to a Drama Club student who has participated in fall play, spring musical, and one acts all four years of their high school career. From helping backstage, to mentoring underclassmen, to becoming an honorary member of my SRT because of how passionate she was about making this year's productions truly extraordinary, this year's recipient has shown a passion for the stage that made my job incredibly easy. It's my honor and privilege to present this year's Cartwright Outstanding Thespian Award to Lexi Schwartz. Student Association is a national organization of students engaged in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. It enhances personal development, leadership, and career opportunities, whereby members apply and integrate these concepts through intracurricular activities, competitions, and related programs. The TSA motto is learning to lead in a technical world. And the following students have shown their leadership by being active members of the Goshen High School Technology Student Association, along with participating and doing quite well in the state competition. Harrison Savchuk. Uziel Romero. Jesus Rodriguez. Manith Kamalakan. State Officer Lupe Diaz Macias. The Outstanding Senior in German Award is given to a GHS senior who consistently demonstrates academic excellence in his or her study of German and also involvement in activities related to the study of German. The award this year goes to two students who have demonstrated a high level of proficiency in their study of German language and culture. One of the students has taken five years of German, including International Baccalaureate German. The second student has taken four years of German, including International Baccalaureate German, and that student also participated in the month-long language study trip to Bielefeld, Germany. Both students have been dedicated language students even in the midst of a pandemic. They have consistently focused not only on their own learning, but also helped their fellow students to learn. It's my extreme pleasure to give this year's awards and a scholarship of $150 to Magali Casaval Gonzalez and Lauren Ong. to represent the music department. Each year the music department raises funds to give scholarships to applicants who are pursuing a music major or minor. These three students represent band, orchestra, and choir, IB music, jazz band, camarada orchestra, crimson airs, winter percussion, and musical. It's my pleasure to award these scholarships to Naomi Kratzer, Landon Nisley, and Talon Knoll.
Laura Blau. I'm representing the Purdue Alumni Club of Elkhart County. I am a, a proud Goshen High School graduate and proud Boilermaker. Uh, the Purdue Club of Elkhart County has given away more than $300,000 in scholarships since its founding 22 years ago. We are happy to award one of our scholarships this year to Chase Myers. Good evening, my name is Stas Ledger Ortega. Um, I'm one of the many Marine Corps representatives for Indiana, um, and today I have the opportunity to give a distinguished athletic awards to a few individuals. Um, before then, um, since the United States Marine Corps was established over 230 years ago, we have enjoyed some of the most demanding physical standards in the world. Um, in order for the Marine Corps to be successful in its mission, we require our Marines to be in their absolute top physical condition of all times. Um, the Marine Corps realizes the foundation for good physical fitness is laid in the high school um, organizations, the high school athletic organizations. In addition to good training habits, high school athletes are well aware of teamwork, discipline, two important elements that make up the Marine Corps. For this reason, the United States Marine Corps takes great pleasure in promoting the high school athletic programs by presenting the Distinguished Athlete Award for Outstanding High School Athletes, who are recognized for displaying courage, poise, self-confidence, and leadership. So today, we're gonna to be giving out these awards to Roman Chirac. And then also, Elizabeth Ramirez. This isn't a mistake, I'm Rick Yoder again. This time up here support, uh, with Edward Jones. So you're gonna get to see me one more time, so I hope it's not boring. Uh, Edward Jones has an award that they give out every month to students who are student athletes here at Goshen High School. I say student athletes, students the most important, but they're athletes as well, which is awesome. And these awards are voted on by coaches. There's one male and one female athlete awarded per month. So there are nine total of each gender through the year. I had a list of amazing things that these students did to earn this, but um, with the three awards, somehow I managed to live this particular item that I was going to read off back at my office, so my apologies for that. With the, uh, the Edward Jones offices in Goshen, these are the list of names of Goshen Edward Jones advisors that support this award. Please hold your applause as I get through the list of Edward Jones names. Kyle Cook, Tom Lynn, Keith Neuschwander, Ryan Drake, Renee Drake, Kim Pedler, Aaron Wilkinson, Paul Gaylor, Scott Puckett, JT Jacobson, Bill Bonning, Matt Zinal, and Rick Yoder. That, you're not supposed to be like no. that. Was, that was actually a joke. Apparently it was not funny. Uh, my daughter tells me I do that all the time. So these awards, one male and one female, are awarded to Drew Hogan and Riley Weishop. Congratulations. The Mental Attitude Award in Athletics for Girls 
is presented in memory of my daughter-in-law, Jennifer Roth Sorrell, a popular cheerleader and student athlete at Goshen High School. Each coach of a girls' sport may nominate two girls in their sport on the basis of mental attitude toward teammates, coaches, opponents, and toward athletics and school in general. The GHS faculty then selects the winner, and she receives a plaque. This year, the winner is Sophia Yorty. athletic awards but my name is Christina Massa and this is Ali Wolf and we'll be presenting most of the rest of the athletic awards. So the mental attitude in athletics for boys is presented in memory of James E. Fenn, a popular and successful co coach at Goshen High School. The Goshen High School students and faculty made contributions in the spring of 1967 to, fund, to, to a fund which a plaque is awarded annually. Each coach of a boys' sport may nominate two boys in their sport based on mental attitude towards teammates, coaches, opponents, and towards athletics and school in general. The GHS faculty then selects the winner. This year's winner is Drew Hogan. Wellborn Memorial Award. This award is given to a senior boy athlete who has participated in sports all four years, lettered in two or more sports in his senior year, ranks in the upper one-third of his class scholastically, and is a good school citizen. The boy receiving this award is chosen by the high school faculty and receives a plaque. This year's winner is Drew Hogan. <laughs> Good evening. The Kaiser Kittlebar Johns Award is given in memory of Dory Kaiser, who was the first girls basketball coach. The Kettlebar is Rose Kettlebar. She was a 40-year teacher in the Goshen system and a 22-year volleyball coach, the first volleyball coach. And the Johns is me. Um, I was softball coach for 13 years and I was athletic secretary for 25 years. So we put a lot of sweat and tears in this building. But this award is given to a senior girl athlete who has participated in sports all four years, lettered in two or more sports in her senior year, ranks in the upper one third of her class scholastically, and is a good school citizen. The girl receiving this award is chosen by the high school faculty and will receive a plaque. This year's winner, and one of my former students, Tori Eldridge. <laughs> just a first grader the last year I taught. John Sorg. I'm here to present the Don Lee Memorial Scholarship Award for Boys Cross Country and Track. Uh, Don graduated in 1965. He ran two years of track and cross country. He won three state medals. 
uh, two thirds and a fourth. And then he went on to um, Ohio University on a track scholarship and won numerous awards and records. And he got third place in the half mile, third place in the mile, and fourth place at the uh, cross country meet. And that summer after high school, he went around the state of Indiana, ran in different meets, and he beat everyone that beat him in the state. Uh, and he made a point of doing that. So he had a will, a strong will, he had an attitude, but a good attitude, and he had a heart. I'm here to present this uh, scholarship uh, to Cole Johnson. <laughs> The next scholarship we have is the Jody Clark Memorial Scholarship. This is to a girl for the track and cross country teams. Jody was a 1989 college graduate of Goshen High School where she was a four year varsity letter winner in track and field and cross country. During her career at Goshen High School, she established four school records in track and field in the 100 hurdles, 300 hurdles, and 800 meter run, and in long jump. She was a four time regional qualifier in track and represented Goshen at the state finals for one year. She also earned NLC All-Conference in both track and cross country. During her junior year, the girls track team won its only NLC team title to date. In her Goshen High School career, she was awarded the following awards. The Freshman Award, the Coaches Award, and was selected as the most valuable athlete three times, twice in track and once in cross country. In May of 2003, Jody lost her brief battle with cancer at the age of 31. Although Jody was fortunate enough to experience a good deal of success in her athletic endeavors, it is essential to note that the numbers on the scoreboard and the record boards will never be as important as her fellow athletes. The friendship she made with the teammates and opposing players and the laughter she shared with them was the real reason for her being involved. It is hoped that whoever receives this scholarship exhibits her same spirit. This year, the scholarship is presented to Brittany Ortega. we have is the Herb Pratt Scholarship Award. The Herb Pratt Scholarship Award was established in 1979 in memory, memory of Jack and Margaret Herb by their nephew Bing Pratt. This scholarship is awarded to an athlete in the top 10% of the senior class, lettered in his or her senior year, and has their academic GPA enhanced by 0.1 for each varsity letter earned throughout his or her high school career. This year's recipient has earned six varsity letters and has over a 4.0 GPA. This year's winner is Elizabeth Ramirez. Academic Award winners. There are 10 names. Please hold your applause until the very end. These student athletes were selected by earning one varsity letter their senior year and being in the top 10 people that have earned a varsity letter with their GPA. The names are Victoria Barkey, Caitlin Batson, Ashley Garcia Coto, Manith Kamalakant, Camila Perez Diener, 
Montserrat Vasquez Diaz, Amelia Walters, Riley Weisap, Kylie Yoder, Yoder Sophia Yordi. award. The male winner is Drew Hogan and the, and the female winners are Trinity Neiman, Elizabeth Ramirez, Riley Weisop, Carly Yoder, and Sophia Yordi. Career, the athletic department keeps track of points for participating in each individual sport. The following people received between 32 and 37 points and they will receive an athletic plaque. Please hold your applause until the end. Brooklyn Collins for volleyball and basketball. Emma Duttweiler, basketball and softball. Camden Kircher, football and track. Trinity Neiman, basketball and softball. Isaiah Park, football and baseball. Elizabeth Ramirez, volleyball and softball. Michael Smith, cross country and track. Zachary Subra, basketball and golf. Riley Weisop, cross country and track. Blanket. Mitchell Daniels, football, wrestling, and baseball. Ava DeVoe, soccer, cheerleading, swimming, and track. Abril Diaz, soccer and tennis. Natalie Escueda, track and cross country. 
Madeline Garber, volleyball and basketball, Duncan Green, football and track, Logan, Har Logan Harkenrider, swimming, cross country and track, Drew Hogan, cross country, basketball and track, Cole Johnson, cross country and track, Sarah Kim, golf and swimming, Kia Kurtz, unified flag football and unified track, Adrian Mora, cross country and track, Daniel Peters, Unified Flag Football, Unified Track. Tanner Powell, Unified Flag Football, Unified Track. Roman Schrock, Football and Baseball. Jordan Williams, Football, Basketball, and Track. school year you earned 78 and a half points through soccer cheerleading swimming and track and field this year's high point athlete for girls is Ava DeVoe recognize our academic honor honor diploma candidates um, if you would enter the stage over here again we'll give you um, your regalia and then you can exit on this side Isabella Abshire Asia Adkins Giselle Altamirano Ramos Lauren Altenhoff Andreas Alvarado Yasso Victoria Barkey Kathleen Batson, Kento Bauman, Francisco Bejan Murillo, Brian Benitez Rodriguez, Mariah Benitez, Steve Bermudez, Emily Bradshaw, Caitlin Brown, Marco Camillo, Amaya Castillo Perez, Magali Cazabal Gonzalez, Abigail Clardy, Brooklyn Collins, Chloe Collins, Alondra Cortez, Edwin Cortez Flores, Chelsea Cortez, Axel Davila, Yvette Delgadillo, Ava DeVoe, Guadalupe Diaz Macias, Atsima Diaz Solis, Abril Diaz, Grace Dick, Austin Elliott, <laughs> Joanna Elrod, Jason Flores, Jackson Gaby, Mona Galeb, Madeline Garber, Ashley Garcia Coto, Maria Conchita Gayton, 
Jose Gonzalez Moran, Charlie Gonzalez, Gustavo Gonzalez, Carla Guerrero Torres, Jackson Dyke, Sunny Jihar, Jaden Harris, Rory Hart, Wyatt Hernley, Jeffrey Hirschberger, Raiden Hinkle, Drew Hogan, Cole Johnston, Aradna Juarez Tamotzi, Manith Kamala Khan, Lauren Kaufman, Camden Kircher, Sarah Kim, Hope Kindig, Luke Kratzer, Naomi Kratzer, Samuel Kreps Long, Elizabeth Lopez Cazada, Alessandra Lozano Gomez, Yatsiri Martinez, Yasmin Martinez, Cadence Mast, Chase Meyer, Madison Miller, Brianna Mullins, Chase Myers, Ngezwi Nuba, Trinity Nemeth, Landon Nisley, Jayla Nolan, Ariana Norfolk, Morgan Orr, Brittany Ortega, Christian Palmer, Jennifer Perez Bernal, Camilla Perez Diener, Elizabeth Ramirez, Jenny Serena, Isaac Rescalvo, Kayla Bresendez, Aldo Rodriguez Yasso, Jesus Rodriguez Ortiz, Amiel Romero, Uziel Romero, Magali Salazar, Alberto Sanchez, Mario Santos, Allison Sapp, Jeremy Sapp, Harrison Sapchuk, Carter Schmucker, Allison Schrock, Alexander Schendel, Kylan Shepard, Alexa Show, Jaylene Smith, Michael Smith, Samantha Soto, Denise Sustita Gallegos, Calista Schwarzendruber, Amanda Troyer, Emily Valdez, Anna Vanderway, Montserrat Vasquez Diaz, Vanessa Vallegas, Mirabella Wade, Amelia Walters, Riley Weishop, Tyler Reese, Jordan Williams, Carly Yoder, Kylie Yoder, Sophia Yoder, and Nicholas Zare. One more round of applause. Next, I would like to recognize our technical honors diploma candidates and just mention that this diploma is every bit as challenging to receive as the academic honors. Um, there are just different qualifications, but it's a pretty tough diploma to get. So congratulations, please hold your applause. We have a little bit of a list. Andreas Alvarado Yasso, Emmeline Alvarado, Brian Benitez Rodriguez, Valeso Bunyala, Jesus Briano, Magali Cazabal Gonzalez, Maribel Diaz Herrera, Abril Diaz, Joanna Elrod, Kevin Hernandez Diaz, Juan Hernandez Ponce, Alessandra Lozano Gomez, Yatsiri Martinez, Jennifer Perez Bernal, Evelyn Perez, Jacob Rodriguez, and Magali Salazar.
And again, one more round of applause to them. At this time, I'd like to invite those of you who are earning the Governor's Work Ethic Certification. You should know who you are because we've been emailing for a few weeks now and even a final email today. So if you have earned that award, I'm going to try, we need you in alphabetical order to hand out your certificate and get your stole. You're going to go out that back door out there and you're going to line up in the hallway alphabetically. So you're going to have to communicate a little bit, right? Ms. Gallagher's out there with you. So go out in the hall, out that back door, and line up by the door here in alphabetical order. So talk, communicate. While you're doing that, I'll talk to your parents a little bit about what's going on here. So about uh, five years ago, the, uh, the Elkhart County Schools got together and um, decided that we wanted to start awarding the Governor's Work Ethic Certification. So we've been doing that for four years now. And just like we certify at Goshen High School that, that students are graduates because they've got the right number of credits, taking the right number of classes and so forth, we also now certify those students who have an excellent work ethic. There's lots of students who are in our school who have an excellent work ethic who are not earning the award um, for, several, for, for numerous reasons, but uh, these are the students who, who have done these following things. During their senior year, they maintained a 95% 95 per, 95 attendance rate. They had four or less tardies or late arrivals to school, so the start of school. And, and in all honesty, that's the toughest one, uh, is getting to school on time. But the county schools and the county businesses that have set these things up have said, um, we want our workers, if we're going to certify that they uh, have a good work ethic, we want to know that they get to work on time and get to school on time. And so for their senior year, they had to be here. They could only have four or less tardies or later rounds of school. The only thing that's cumulative in this is a 2.0 GPA for their four years. They had to have one or a few office referrals uh, in the during their senior year. They had to complete six hours of community service during their senior year that could have started last summer into their senior year. They had to have some kind of work experience. Many of our students did work experience through uh, some programs here at school, uh, like our internship programs, like our um, career center programs and those kinds of things. Others people had jobs and they and they we certified that they, they have a good work ethic because their employers verified that they've been doing well at their jobs. If we certified all those things, then the last thing was students had to have three teachers who um, who would sign would sign that they that these students had pride during their senior year. And pride stands for persistence, respectfulness, initiative, dependability, and efficiency. And so if they did all those things, we certified that they did have a good work ethic. And they're going to be receiving the Governor's Work Ethic Certification. It is a statewide uh, certification. It is a certification that some businesses throughout the state and even our county will recognize and will give them certain things like maybe a, a pay increase, an extra day of vacation, those kinds of things. But the best thing that this, this award does, it gives them something to put on their resume uh, and help them achieve jobs and, and so forth. So uh, I'm really proud to announce these winners. Uh, they've been getting monthly emails from me and updates. And uh, they've gone the extra mile to not only do these things, uh, like to be on time and be here all the time, but to actually communicate with me and make sure that we can certify that they've done these things. So really, really impressed with these students. Their counselors will hand out their certificate. It is in a black diploma booklet. Your, your diploma will be in a red booklet. Your work ethic certification will be in a black booklet. And then they're also getting a stole to wear at graduation. Um, I told them to open the door when they're ready, but it's been open, so. Communication is not something they had to have on this list. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Ms. Gallagher. She's been helping them out there. All right, so when I call your name, they're going to come forward. Let's hold our applause to the very end. There are 48 students who are earning this tonight. Giselle Altamirano Ramos, Emmeline Alvarado, Wendy Argueda Garcia. Victoria Barkey, Caitlin Brown, 
Gali Cazabal Gonzalez, Abigail Clardy, Brooklyn Collins, Chloe Collins, Amber Huacuacla, Grace Dick, Victoria Eldridge, Mona Galeb, Jeffrey Hirschberger, Manif Kamalakan, Lauren Kaufman, Camden Kircher, Sarah Kim, Yasmin Martinez, Cadence Mast, Fernanda Mendoza, Larissa Montoya Rodriguez, Brianna Mullins, Paulina Munoz, Chase Myers, Brittany Ortega, Daniel Perez Garcia. Evelyn Perez, Abimano Rao, Ana Rodriguez, Magali Salazar, Allison Sapp, Jeremy Sapp, Harrison Savchuk. Carter Schmucker, Roman Schrock, Alexander Schendel, Kylan Shepard, Alexa Scholl, Anna Vanderway, Vanessa Villegas, Riley Weishaupt, Alexandria Weiss, Jordan Williams, Hannah Woods, Hayden Yader McDonald, Carly Yoder, Kylie Yoder. This year we had 98 students who signed up to try and earn the, the certificate, and we had 48 who made it all the way to the end. Let's give them a round of applause. tassels to an outstanding group of students who have completed an impressive amount of community service hours. Each member is asked to do at least 30 hours of service and at, late, and at least half of those hours should be from tutoring. As a reward and an acknowledgement, students are given a gold tassel to wear at graduation. This year, our seniors have gone above and beyond and they have volunteered for just over 2,000 hours and have continued to grow our tutoring program at GHS. This is truly a remarkable accomplishment and something of which we are very proud. At this time, I will call our 2022 NHS Gold Tassel earners to the stage. We ask that you hold your applause until the end. Isabel Abshire. 
Giselle Altamarino Ramos, Victoria Barkey, Kathleen Batson, Mariah Benitez, Emily Bradshaw, Ryan Carrillo, Magali Casabel Gonzalez, Edwin Cortez Flores, Yvette Delgado, Emma Detweiler, Guadalupe Diaz Macias, Mona Galeb, Madeline Garber, Maria Conchita Gaitan, Rory Hart, Jeffrey Hirschberger, Drew Hogan, Ashley Juarez Salgado, Monique Kamalakan, Lauren Kaufman, Sarush Kermani, Hope Kindig, Luke Kratzer, Madison Miller, Chase Myers, Trinity Nemeth, Jennifer Perez Bernal, Camilla Perez Diener, Elizabeth Ramirez, Emil Romero, Uziel Romero, Allison Sapp, Jeremy Sapp, Harrison Savchuk, Carter Schmucker, Allison Schrock, Jaylene Smith, Ashley Garcia Coto, Amanda Troyer, Emily Valdez, Mirabella Wade, Amelia Walters, Riley Weishaupt, Michelle Yepes, Carly Yoder, Kylie Yoder, Sophia Yordi, and Nicholas Zare. one more round of applause to that. Okay, I would like to recognize three National Merit Scholar recipients. Um, the National Merit uh, is a distinction where students are commended because they are placed in the top 50,000 students who entered the 2022 competition by taking the 2020 Preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test, or the PSAT. Those being named commended students have demonstrated outstanding potential for academic success, and this recognition will help broaden their educational opportunities and encourage them as they continue their pursuit of academic success. Our three are Manith Kamala Khan, Luke Kratzer, and Kylie Yoder, if you would come forward.
And now we will recognize our full IB diploma candidates. These individuals will find out this summer if they have received their IB diploma. Whether they have or have not, it is to uh, be recognized that they have accomplished something pretty great here by taking our toughest um, course offerings and the most rigorous courses that we have here at the school by far. Um, so I want to recognize them and just give that special distinction. And at this point, too, just recognize that all of our students have really worked in the hardest two and a half years that any of us have experienced in our lifetime. So I also want to recognize that for all of them. But if I could have Kathleen Batson, Steve Bermudez, Ashley Garcia Cotto, Luke Kratzer, Saruj Kermani, and Amelia Walters to the stage, please. And while they're here, I want you to see what they've already received. There was a special ceremony, and they have the black stole that recognizes that they are full IB diploma candidates. So congratulations to you all. representing the Women's Clubs of Goshen. Every year the Women's Clubs of Goshen gather together to choose one girl in the top 10 to honor as outstanding senior girl. This year's recipient has been involved heavily in Red Hawk tennis program as both player and manager. She has volunteered in the community in various ways. Um, continuing her life of service, she plans to pursue a degree in medical sonography. This year's outstanding senior girl is Tori Barkey. senior boy. The outstanding senior boy is ranked in the top 10 boys in his class. Uh, we took a list of essays from them and then decided who it should be. Uh, for, uh, students, uh, great job getting here. I am really proud of you. I don't know if that means anything, but uh, I was 42nd in my class. Um, my kids always tell me it really, it's really important that I tell you that I was a class of 58. So. Um, <laughs> Probably wasn't where you were sitting, but I wanted to read just a quick segment here because the student who wins this award uh, was involved in a bunch of stuff, um, but the last paragraph says, the relationships that I made through my participation in music allowed me to have friends, teachers, and directors to rely on during a very difficult time. Now as a senior, these same people have helped me in the college search process, the navigation of the final few months of my high school career, and so much more. While I have worked hard in everything I have done to maintain my status as an outstanding student and community member, it would not have been possible without the relationships that I've been able to make throughout my life. It's all about relationships. Um, great job working hard to you, all of you, and especially to Jeff Hirschberger, the outstanding <laughs> Summa cum laude students, if you would come up on this side of the stage and follow suit from earlier. We have Lauren Altenhoff, Victoria Barkey, Kathleen Batson, Magali Cazabal Gonzalez, Yvette Delgado, 
Atsimba Diaz Solis, Grace Dick, Mona Galeb, Ashley Garcia Coto, Gustavo Gonzalez, Jeffrey Hirschberger, Manith Kamala Khan, Lauren Kaufman, Sarush Kermani, Luke Kratzer, Naomi Kratzer, Trinity Nemeth, Jayla Nolan, Camilla Perez Diener, Elizabeth Ramirez, Allison Sapp, Jeremy Sapp, Harrison Sapchuk, Allison Schrock, Jaylene Smith, Callista Swartzendruber, Amanda Troyer, Emily Valdez, Montserrat Vasquez Diaz, Amelia Walters, Riley Weishop, Kylie Yoder, Carly Yoder, and Sophia Yordi. These students have achieved the highest GPA that we distinguish here, which is a 4.0 or higher. So they are to be commended for their hard work and dedication and that accomplishment. Congratulations. We have a student that's going to give a thank you today, so we'd like to um, invite Mona Galeb up to the stage, please. where we come to a close. I want to thank you once again, seniors. It's been wonderful having you in our building. Um, even more wonderful that you get to move on to that next part of your life. I'm happy for you. Um, it goes by very quickly. We can talk more about that at graduation. I'm looking forward to seeing you all on Sunday, 6 p.m. Parents, thank you for your hard work and dedication and for loving your kids and sending them to Goshen High School. We appreciate the chance to have been a part of their lives very, very much so. Thank you very much. We do have a small reception in the Commons that it includes some cookies and drinks. And there's a photo booth up here that you are all welcome to use if you would like to take some memorable photos. Thank you and have a good evening.